Hello, today I'm going to show you how to share folders from Hello, today I'm going to show you how to share folders using Ubuntu 16.4 as your base. So first thing we have to do is we have to install Samba. This you can use to like just share a simple folder on your network from your computer or you can make a whole server out of this. A file server. Uh, that's what I wanted to use. I wanted to use the normal terminal. And I will close this. And I will just type in sudo apt install samba. Ubuntu is my password. Okay. Move it to this side, so I'm just installing Samba now. And I press enter after my password to confirm it. This we will do a bit later on. But first thing we have to do is we have to type in sudo. I'm going to use gedit. It's my text editor and it's very simple to understand. And now this line, you can just copy this you will find it in the description of this video. So don't worry about that. And press enter. As you can see, it opens up folder. And now I'm gonna make some space here. And I'm gonna copy this piece in here. You can have more than one depending on how many folders and files folders you are sharing. And this will be the name of the folder you're sharing. I'm going to create a folder called share me. And the comment is the same. Path to folder. This can be any place in your computer. But because I'm going to put my folder on my desktop. As you can see, this stands for root and your main system. And this is also your main system. And then you go to home. Home. My username is administrator, administrator, desktop, desktop, so you can just f go anywhere you want. And I'm going to create a folder here called share me. And I'm going to add some random stuff. It can be an existing folder also, it doesn't have to be a new one. It can already be, have like a lot of documents inside, it really doesn't matter. Now, we have to create a password for a share folder or for the user account which you're going to share with because these at the bottom is showing what user use, you, are use, you are using. You can create a new user or you can use your existing one. I'm using my existing one so, and I'm administrator so I um, have to create because you got your login password, but you also have to have a Samba password for the same user to share password. Just for security stuff. And as you can see, I said no, no, just that people will have to have your password to connect to it. And they can also create files because they got it. It's up to you. So now I'm going to type in A for username, I'm going to type in administrator, I'm going to type in my password, I'm going to type in a new password, I'm going to use the same one as my login password, and I'm just going to set permissions for that folder. Just, it should be fine because it's your own folder, but just in case I'm gonna set permissions and I'm gonna say here and share folder you are using the same path which you made here. And I'm gonna paste this. As you can see, it's very quick. 
and in Ubuntu 6.4 sometimes when you got a share folder running after two or three hours it just disconnects don't ask me why the computer is running it just disconnects but this command fix it the reason why I know it's fix it because I just three weeks ago built a server for my university and I ran into this problem with Ubuntu 60.4 I placed it in for the first day and it has been running like a diamond since then already for the last three weeks basically. So now I'm just gonna say any name. I'm gonna say Samba because it's a Samba shared folder. Now you have to reboot your system. And oh 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 we forgot one very important command. I'm sorry. <laughs> this one. We've got to run it also to restart Samba. Because we add a new folder. I once again I press Ctrl T to open it up. Just type in your password. Password. And now we can reboot the system. Oh, sorry for that. And now I'm just going to wait for it to boot up. As you can see, I'm running this in VirtualBox. But that really doesn't matter. Like I said, the file server I built, it runs on bare metal and it's running like a diamond. And I'm using this basically the same method because there I got more like different file folders, I created different user accounts, basically yeah, I just created normal user accounts and gave all of them different some passwords and then I've just in my config, in my config file I just made sure like where I filled an administrator, administrator in this one by every folder I put my other username there so now you can log in, or you don't have to log in, it doesn't matter, but now I'm going to switch over to Deepen to see if it works. Hello, well I tried to Deepen, but I couldn't figure it out there. So I guess I'm still busy working on sorting that out. But this is just Ubuntu Mate, so that's why I took a bit longer than I wanted to, but I cut it out, so that's okay. But I had a nice long struggle there, but as you can see, it works quite simple here. You just type in your password. And say connect. And there we go. So it works very well. It didn't want to work on Deepen. I'm sure they will fix the sharing because I really struggled already for a few hours today with Deepen and file sharing. But with Ubuntu to but they, and I'm sure of the rest, it will work out of the box. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. I hope you like it, and I hope it helps you. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.